Hi, my name is Maggie Spadinger. I'm a nurse practitioner in the GI surgery clinic at Roswell Park Cancer Institute. Some patients develop a narrowed esophagus and have difficulty swallowing. This is called a stricture. It is first treated by upper endoscopy with dilatation or stretching of the esophagus. If this is ineffective or the stricture reoccurs, then Maloney dilatation may be recommended. This avoids the risk of repeat endoscopy with sedation medication. Eventually, you will be able to perform this procedure yourself at home. I'm putting this down my throat myself so I can feel, feel every little bit going down. So when it does stick or hurt, I can stop or wait a minute and then I can keep proceeding or keep going. I didn't believe that I could do this because I gag real easy. But once I did it and tried it, it really worked. Uh, I can eat so much better. Before I haven't ate in like three and a half years. And now since I've done it, I can eat uh, quite a bit. And I've had my feeding tube removed since I started doing this. Prior to the procedure, you should not eat or drink for at least two hours. Cetacane spray is used to depress your gag reflex. The tube is lubricated at the tip. Then the dilator is gently placed into your mouth. You will swallow and advance the dilator slowly. When it is advanced to the level recommended, it is held in place for 10 seconds. Then it is carefully removed. Do not eat anything for two hours afterwards since your gag reflex is depressed.